Hello again and welcome to the template that will allow you to make lots of perceptual maps really fast. In fact, this one because it's got up to 25 attributes. Uh, if you have 25 attributes, you'll actually be able to construct 300 different perceptual maps and we can do that very quickly. Uh, I'm just going to go to this page to show you how fast it's going to be. Up here is a sample of the map and down here is the full map that we were after and if we're just analyzing it's attribute one versus attribute two so we just change it to three and the map is immediately produced it tells you what you're looking at and if that's of interest to you you then scroll down and copy it but we just keep repeating uh, we just work our way through all the potential map configurations and whenever we get one that's of interest we can just copy and paste it over here so let's have a look at how it works and what we do. So when we download it, it'll look like this. The steps that you work through, they're listed there, but they are also included in the green boxes. So basically you go through and you type your name of your map. I've already done that. You put some attribute labels. Obviously they're going to be the opposites. So left or the bottom axis, depending on how you present it, and top right axis. And I've just put 10 there, but as you can see, there's space for up to 25 to put in there. And then underneath, you put your brand names. I've just put a very simple name here for uh, explanation purposes. And then you put your data on a 1 to 9 scale. And again, up to 25 attributes, all corresponding to these uh, labels above. Uh, the template works on a 1 to 9 scale, which is a lot of market research data. If your data has been collected differently, say 1 to 5, you can just go to this tab here and, and change it. So I've got some pretend data here for the brands, and let's pretend it's been collected in a 1 to 5 scale. As you can see, all those numbers there. And we just um, tell it what it is, and it, it normally automatically adjusts the data for us. So, Hypothetically, if this was data was one to seven, um, we'll get the, the corresponding uh, correct data there. And once we have that, we can then start copying it and put it into our, our data fields down here. And then once we've got the data, we are set to go. Okay, we go on to this one. There are two optional steps. Occasionally, you might want to take a brand out for some reason, so you just change that to no, and it won't appear on the map and uh, sometimes we want to make the the circles larger and we can just change these numbers so i'll just show you one of those for a moment so there's brand a there and so we want to make it a lot larger let's get up to 10 and you can see it stands out that may be your brand or your key competitor etc and if there's one we want to make particularly small we can just make it uh, a change like that Okay, so I'm just going to re reset these uh, back. And automatically the maps are updated. So once we've done that, we just head over to create your own maps. And we just go through and go, okay, let's have a look at attribute 2 uh, versus attribute 3. Again, it's updating. Oh, that doesn't tell me much. Uh, what about if I have a look at attribute 4, etc.? Oh, I don't like that. If we accidentally type in the same number, we'll get this pattern there, and that means, oh gee, I've got the same thing there. And we just keep going through. And once we find a map that's of interest from our analysis, uh, let's just look at one more randomly. Just say it's this one for whatever reason. And all we do is we, we simply copy it, bring it over here, and we paste it here as a picture. Okay, and we can resize it etc. Uh, if I just pasted that normally, I've got the same looking map. One's a picture, one is a, um, a live map. So each time I change it here and I start re-looking, I go, oh, okay, now I like that first map. I go back to it. It's actually brought the more current map across. This one here has protected it. So there's a link in the description of how you can obtain this map. And as I said, it's perfect if you've got lots of data and you've got hundreds of maps you want to have a look at and you're sort of analyzing the marketplace. 
So hopefully that's a very helpful map for you.